Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode from the Multi Tools and Blades channel. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Swiss Tech Microtech 6-in-1. This looks familiar to you, that's because they are currently sold in abundance on places like eBay. However, all of those ones you see for sale are actually the Made in China versions. This one here not only is an original Made in the USA version, but it's actually a first production run. We'll get into that in a few minutes. So released in 1996, made by a company called LKL Innovations Limited, based in Perry, Ohio. So of all the variations that these came out with, one of the first variations they made was to add little ruler markings along this arm here. If you're looking for one of these, make sure it does have the Made in USA stamped into it. This was always designed as a keychain tool, and the very first production ones had a little hole here for the keychain. That was dropped very quickly though. So keep your eye out for things like this Swiss Tech stamp right here, the Made in the USA stamp in there, and the patent number stamped here. Those are the things that have changed over the years, so that's what you want to look out for. The model was known as the Microtech, but more affectionately known as the 6-in-1. To use any of the tools, we need to open it up into a plier, and you do that simply by rotating those two arms out of the way. Well, we now have something that resembles a set of pliers, but don't let the size fool you, it's quite capable. And we can see just how wide those jaws open up. You can get a decent amount of stuff to fit in there, but it's never been designed to replace a proper pair of pliers. But it's really good if you're stuck in an emergency situation. So on this arm we have a flat screwdriver. You can see how that's shaped by two concave hollow groins. Whereas if you refer to a more recent one, they've just got two flat groins either side. On the other arm we have a Phillips. You can see the machining marks where this was made, whereas the more modern ones you can see they've been cast. The whole thing's been put together with three rivets, one for each of the swinging arms and one for the fulcrum of the pliers. The rivets don't wobble, it's been put together rather well. Now on the inside of the jaws, in this area here, we have a wire stripper and wire cutter, and this is called a sheet shearer. I'm not sure exactly how the sheet shearer works, but if they say it's a sheet shearer, then I have to believe them. I mentioned before that only the very first production runs had the hole for the lanyard ring, they were very quickly dropped. It didn't take them long to realise that when everything's locked up, you could just use the plier head to attach onto a keychain. So the lanyard hole was just made redundant. So if you're going to collect these, make sure you do get the USA ones and not the Chinese made ones. They're a little bit more expensive, yes, but you'll feel better afterwards. Well, thanks for watching another episode all the way to the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Feel free to leave any comments and I'll catch you all next time.